Welcome, welcome everybody. This is Rasmus Jungren speaking, and uh, this is Dwellers Alpha version 0.5. So, uh, today I want to show you some of the new stuff. And uh, this version is available for download, it's a download for the backers um, uh, at my webpage uh, dungeondwellers.net. Uh, sorry for the old name still on the website, but it will be fixed soon. Uh, also, uh, it's not available for download just yet. It will take another day or two. I have to fix uh, some of the menu systems so that you can uh, change the keyboard keys and stuff like that. So that I get no complaints for people with another keyboard setup. Okay, let's see here. Uh, as some of you know, I have added creatures to the dungeon enemies. Evil small monkeys that we don't like. Impensees, we call them. We first call them Inkies, but uh, we got this uh, very good uh, suggestion from a guy at uh, Reddit that we should call them Impensees, and uh, we sort of uh, fell in love with that. Okay, I think we can see one. Okay, he ran away right there. I don't want to dig into this uh, room over here because I am fairly certain there are a lot of Impensees over there, and they want nothing more than to kill my imps. And here we have another. Oh, here we go. You see him? You see him? And they ran away. So, how are we going to defend ourselves uh, against these beasts? So, we want to create the Dark Dwarves. Uh, to, uh, so that they can kill off all the intruders. And to create Dark Dwarves, we need uh, uh, to create bear. But first of all, I want to uh, create some rooms here so I can uh, easily use them later on. See here. It's getting kind of dirty here. Dirty here. So we also need a storage room. So let's build one over here. And uh, watch them work. So here we go. And what do we need to create bear? Well, we need a farm so that we can create wheat. And uh, from the and the wheat will need water. But well, once we have created wheat, we can take it to the brewery and uh, create bear. And from the bear, we can create the dark dwarfs. As you can see here, if you uh, hold the hand here of the plus sign, you see that it needs two bears and one gold to create a dwarf. This is fairly cheap, actually, because I, you know. I can uh, create like 8 uh, imps uh, rather fast. That's like uh, total creature cost uh, 32 uh, dirt, so... Uh, so I have made uh, the game uh, rather easy to play around with uh, now in the beginning. Mostly because uh, everything isn't complete and I don't want the player to get stuck somewhere. So... Uh, we will go from there. So that I can explore all the options and not be... Uh, so th this is a very early version of uh, Dwellers, as uh, some of you know. No, so uh, there are some stuff that aren't completed yet, but uh, it will be in the future. So let's see here. We created the storage room, but we need some tables so that we can uh, store stuff on it. And uh, while we're at it, we can uh, put in some lights here and here. Some of you have complained that the lights should be put out uh, as mat. Uh, put in automatically, but uh, I don't know, we will see later on. I think it's very easy to just add torches to the wall, so it's no biggie, I think. But yeah, we will see. Once you played it and tried it out, I will uh, hear your suggestions and uh, value them. So okay, now we need a farm. So let's create a farm here. And we will also need a well. Uh, this menu is a little bit, uh, I don't know, messy, but uh, yeah, I will uh, fix that later on. So, okay, let's create a farm room. I don't want it to be in the way of the rest of them, so I, five tiles should be enough. And it looks like, uh, ooh, I'm out of wood. I think we are not able to create the whole room. Let's see here. Okay, here we have wood. These are roots. These are roots. That uh, can be uh, teared down or chopped down to uh, get wood. 
That's, that was my solution to this, or someone else's. I don't remember actually. I get a lot of suggestions about uh, uh, how we are going to add uh, wood to the production chain. I didn't want to skip it because I know that a lot of. Uh, there is a lot of. Uh, stuff that uh, needs wood to be created. I mean, I think it would really look stupid if I had like a iron fence for the farm or something like that. Okay, so that was my solution. Okay, well, where are we? Okay, we have uh, now we have uh, five uh, tiles of farmland here and uh, I have a well over there, so uh, now we need a brewery. We can create that one over here. Let's see here. Now we have the cookery room. There it is. So we create the cookery room. And from the cookery. So if I right click on the cookery room, you see I get this extra menu where I can uh, add items that are uh, directly connected to this room. In the same way, I can add items to the farm room that are correct, directly connected to that room. So, uh, if you play this game, I recommend that you check out the farm mill. I, uh, <laughs> there's some uh, funny animations there, but uh, nothing I will show you right now. I, I don't have the time for it, I think. So, uh, let's create uh, three... Or maybe I will show it, but I don't want to waste the wheat on... Uh, something else just yet. Uh, let's see here. Okay, now they start their brewery. So let's see here. Now we have like... Uh, oh, we have two gold. Good. Uh, let's see if we can find some more gold over here somewhere. Ah. Maybe we need to search... Okay, well, here we have gold. It's dangerously close to this opening here, so... Uh, ah. Okay, I know you guys are looking forward to uh, seeing the enemies, but uh, I can't just let them walk right into the dungeon because, uh, <laughs> you know, my imps would uh, get uh, slaughtered if they don't have any anyone that defends them. Okay, so now we have like three gold and uh, three beer. We need, uh, we can start creating some dwarves. So, from three gold we can create three dwarves. So let's start with that. Or we can do like this, we create like... Uh, couple of more so that they uh, continuously uh, increase okay then oh yeah here we go there we have those okay we, we start over here Ooh, here it comes here it comes look at that rock throwing Now the other dark dwarfs are uh, noticing the... Ooh, he runs away. Okay. This could be dangerous. I don't know how many of them there are. Okay, here comes another one. You know what? I put this rally flag over here. And uh, it will uh, attract all my fighters to go to that location. So, uh, let's see here. They are getting slaughtered. I'm winning! Yay! Little chicken, come here! <laughs> okay, so here we go. And now we can remove the rail flag. I have like an ugly icon over here, but uh, it will do for now. So now the imps are going to investigate and uh, build forward here, claim the paths. I'm sure that I will uh, encounter uh, some more of those impensees on the way. So let's see here now. We have a room here also. But you know, I want gold. Okay, well here we have some more. Um, let's see here. Okay, how many dark dwarfs? Okay, I have like eight of them. That's very good. I think this will be enough. So uh, let's dig in here. A lot of rock throwing. Don't know if I need to. Okay, there. Okay, I think. 
I need to put down the flag just in case. So I want to create these little puddles of blood when they get hurt and when they die to uh, really make uh, a good... Um, so that people can see that, uh, okay, here, I've, here, here it has been a great battle, a oh, bloody one. But there is a lot of stuff that uh, I want to add. I can't add it all because then you guys will see the game once it's finished and uh, <laughs> so there will always be some parts left out here and there. But uh, I recommend you to try it out the game. It's uh... Well, I have created it, so of course I think it's funny. Well, I wouldn't say otherwise, but, <laughs> but you you get the point. I uh, I hope you enjoy what you see. Okay, I don't know if they are too bloody. I don't know. Can I really say? I don't know if that is that a swear like uh, saying they are too bloody. I don't know. Blood stained maybe look. Uh, yes, uh, sounds better. Okay, let's uh, remove the flag. So in this video, I will only show the updates I've made to the enemies. So if you want to sh check out all the other stuff with the production and all that. Uh, how I build different rooms, I recommend you to check out my YouTube channel and look at my previous videos because I have a lot of them uh, showing, uh, showing every update that I've made. So the dungeon is uh, actually really big, this is like uh, only a small fraction of the whole dungeon and uh, the further out you will explore the more enemies will come so it can be really dangerous. So and when you play the game, uh, if you press F11 you get into this uh, development mood mode and then you can uh, just uh, then you can just uh, create uh, enemies and stuff like that on uh, command so uh, let's have some fun let's see if they can win Serious log, and um, I also want to point out that if you press constructions, you can see this like a pressure pad and uh, hydraulics cannon, dynamite, and all, the, all that stuff. You can uh, use that to uh, kill off enemies. So uh, before I dug into one of these rooms, I could actually put up a couple of uh, cannons and uh, pressure pads and hydraulics uh, linked to them, so that uh, they would get uh, really bombarded. So, I think the dwarves are losing this one, actually. I made a lot of these. Let's see, all the imps are... <laughs> they are hiding in this room. They don't like the impancies. They know they can hurt them. So, uh, they are not doing much work right now. They are mostly just uh, keeping away from them. Okay, here we see a lot of stone throwing. The the imps uh, distracted them, so now the dark wolf have it, have it a little bit easier to uh, fight. Take them one at a time. So a dark wolf should be able to kill like uh, two of them uh, alone, but uh, they are very hard when they come in packs. So that's all for now. And I'm almost running out of time. I think this goes very fast. I want to show you a lot of other stuff, but uh, uh, I can only make 15 minute media videos for uh, now. But uh, as I said before, I recommend you to uh, check out my YouTube channel and uh, look at uh, some of my previous works and uh, get some uh, and uh, get some more information about uh, the buildings. So you mean I can build prison uh, bars with the uh, dark dwarfs can get drunk and uh, metalworks rooms to create various constructions and so so um, yeah I recommend you check out the YouTube channel and uh, if you like this game and would like to try it out you can always become a backer at my uh, webpage uh, dungeondwellers.net uh, so um, yeah and uh, on that webpage I also have a fo forum uh, connected to it so that uh, you can uh, come with ideas that will help me with the game. Okay, that's all for now. I uh, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.